Hey everyone, welcome back to another new exciting video. Finally, Perplexity today announced that their browser agent comment is now available for every user. You can be a free user, you can be a paid user, all users will get the access. And here you see that those who were in the waiting list in the last 84 days, they will also get this personal AI assistant access and the internet is better on comment. So I have given this download link in the description box. So please download it. Now after download the installation procedure is very simple. Just do the next 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 and after that you will find this kind of interface and make sure you just sign up in this perplexity comment. So on the right hand side you might see one pop up that uh, do the sign up with your mail. So please do that otherwise you will not get the full advantage of perplexity comment. So now let me show you one by one uh, all of the features that is available inside it. Now follow my cursor in this nap section you will find this assistant. So just click on that and now on the right hand side you will find that one section will be appear and in this section you can do any kind of things like uh, browser search or any kind of uh, third party app access all of that things will be possible via this assistant and beside this assistant follow my cursor there is a voice mode and uh, here you see that it is waking up hi hello how can i assist you today can you please tell me what is the tesla stock today tesla so, stock is currently trading at 436 dollars which represents a decrease of $23.46 or about 5.11% from the previous trading session. So here you see that it has searched on of the various resources and after it has found the actual price of the Tesla and it has provide, provided me the real time stock price. So in this way you can get the uh, news or you can get the search result via the voice mode and it is totally real time it has access to the browser and here on the left hand side you will find this pop-up uh, sorry this search bar here you can search anything it is similar to the perplexity ai uh, the interface here you can search anything and will get the result now let me show you that uh, how it will be helpful for the um, browser agent like uh, operation so if i just ask it that uh, go to amazon Okay, go to Amazon or let's say go to Flipkart. Okay, Flipkart and uh, search for iPhone 17. Okay, now if I just press enter, you will see that it will automatically go to the Flipkart. So here you see that search for Flipkart, the latest iPhone 17 and it is going to that flip card here you see and it will it will show you the top results okay and here you see that the uh, the screenshot that it has taken it is also appearing on the right hand side okay so if i just uh, show you the screenshot here you see this is the screenshot iphone 17 it has searched so in this way you can do that and now also it is working on that okay and here you see that if I if you follow my cursor, it is uh, showing now that pause uh, pause this comment operation or not. Okay. Now here you see that it has given this all of the variations of iPhone 17 and the pricing and the storage. All of that information is available. You don't have to manually search anything. It is like the browser search agent. Okay. Now let me show you that how it will work with the third party apps like with your mail or you can say that if you have any meetings set up uh, in your Gmail then it will really find that. Okay. Now what I will do that uh, as a third party apps I will use the Gmail. Okay. So if I take you to my Gmail account here you see that I have multiple emails from different different provider now i got one email from google that uh, this is this is the google ai studio new gemini 2.5 flash and flash light models just shipped okay so i just want to ask uh, perplexity that uh, how many emails i got from this google or you can say google ai studio so i can do that uh, simply by asking or by writing the prompt in natural language and you don't have to manually search all that inside your gmail 
it is very easy inside the comment so if i just paste this prompt check my gmail and find the email from the google ai studio so just press enter and here you will see that it will ask you for the permission so connect your gmail and google calendar now as i am giving the permission to connect with my gmail and google calendar both at the same time so next time when i will ask uh, that what are the meetings that are scheduled in my google calendar then next time it, it will not ask you for the permission again because you have already provided the access now okay so just click on this connect and now if you connect uh, click on this connect it will ask you to do the sign up with the email now uh, you remember that uh, when you did the sign up with the perplexity you provided one email okay so that doesn't mean that you cannot get the information from different email so that's why they are asking that which email you want to use please provide that one okay it is not not like that that uh, during the sign up you provided one email and only they will use that email no it is not like that so you can use any email you can use your organization email also to get the information okay so now let me do the sign up quickly and when you are giving the access make sure you click on this check box here you see that there are multiple apps like uh, google calendar gmail and many google apps are there so make sure you click on the select all or if you want to uh, give access to any specific then uh, for the google calendar or gmail there is a check box beside them so you can uh, click on them also okay so for this video purpose only uh, let me click on this gmail okay or you can say that uh, let me keep the all access okay there is nothing special in my gmail or calendar so here you see that i have given all of the access now here you see that gmail with calendar now as i have connected my account with this perplexity comment so what i will do that i will again another new session and here i will ask the same thing that check my gmail and find the email from the google ai studio so press enter now this time it will go to my gmail here you see that it is accessing my gmail and it is finding with these keywords google ai google ai studio ai studio and here you see that these are the output okay you have several emails from the google ai studio and here you see the recent one is this new gmail new gemini 2.5 flash and flash light model is just shipped this is the email that i got on friday 3rd october means the today and the time is also given 9 40 9 a.m. So let's see. Yes, here you see that 9:49 a.m. So exact same things you will also get, and uh, here you see all of the emails that I got, right? So this way you can work with the Gmail, and the same way you can work with the uh, Google Calendar also. Means it will find the schedules in your Google Calendar. If you give the access, so when you are giving the access, make sure you remember click on the checkbox. If you don't click on the checkbox, then it will not work properly. And uh, also, just uh, see that it is showing this connected. Okay, now but if it is showing that partially connected, then in that case, it will not work. Remember these things. And also, here you see that you can work, you can connect with the WhatsApp. So here the WhatsApp is icon is showing and click on this link and you can connect to your whatsapp okay so in this way you can connect to any third party apps and you can do the work okay and also if you play any video in youtube there also here you can open the ai assistant on the right hand side and here you see that when you open that it will actually get the context of that video so that's why here you see that they are showing some options automatically summarize this video extract key takeaways scroll to the next interesting moment okay so when you click on this scroll to the next interesting moment follow my cursor it will automatically check the full youtube video and it will take you to that interesting moment automatically and also if you click on this extract key takeaways then automatically it will summarize in a detailed way that what are the uh, main points that is available inside this video okay so these are the features that i have found that this is very helpful so please uh, use this perplexity comment and also for free user there is some limit so 
uh, after that limit uh, you will not be able to use that but this limit will be reset uh, in each day okay okay so if you found this video helpful this detailed explanation with transparency please make sure you like this video make sure you uh, subscribe this channel see you guys in the next video thanks for watching bye bye take care